Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I'm going to read you a story today. It's going to be a nonfiction book about toucans. This is our book that we're going to read today. Now, when I look at a book like this, or I look at any book, I look at the cover of the book and I try to ask myself, hmm, what is this going to be about? And what kind of a text is this book? So I can look at the cover and I can see that this is a photograph of a real life toucan. So my brain tells me, oh, this is gonna be a nonfiction book. It's gonna give me information and facts about toucans. So here are some of the questions we ask ourselves whenever we are reading nonfiction um, text. One, why did the author write this book? Maya, why do you think the author wrote this book? She said she thinks the author wrote the book to inform us about toucans. You are so smart, Maya. Good job, girl. Number two, what do I know about this topic? LeBron, what do you know about toucans? Do you know anything about toucans? Okay, he said he knows two things. He said he knows they're a bird and he's seen them on the front of a Fruit Loop cereal box. Right, LeBron? <laughs> and number three, let's see, LeBron, you're against our question. Number three, what did I learn? So when I finished reading this, what did I learn about toucans? So here we go, we're gonna read our book about toucans and we're gonna ask ourselves these questions. Toucans by Mary R. Dunn. And I want to show you something um, that a nonfiction book has, one of the features. Well, first of all, we already saw one feature of a nonfiction book. It's a photograph. This is another non-text, nonfiction text feature. It's called a table of contents. And I can, if I want to know something like um, finding food, like how do two cans find food, it gives me the different um, things I'm going to learn about in the book, and then I can just go to that page. So that would be on page 12. So that is called a table of contents. All right, here we go. Noisy birds. And I have to tell you, this is another nonfiction text feature. It's called a heading. So noisy birds, you can see how big it is. That's telling me what the group of words I'm going to read about is going to be about. It's about noisy birds. Um, so here we go. In the treetops, toucans hop from branch to branch. Their loud croaks fill the South American forest. And here is a map right here. It's showing us where South America is and where the toucans live. Here's South America right here on the map. That's another nonfiction text feature. Look how beautiful these toucans are. They're so bright and pretty. About 40 kinds of toucans live in Central and South America. During the day, these birds fly in family groups to find food, and at night, they rest in tree holes. Here's another map of South America, and the gold part mm -hmm. is showing us where the toucans are located in South America. So do you see how we're learning so much information? And we don't even have to know how to read sometimes. Sometimes we can just look at the pictures, and it gives us information just by looking at the picture up close. Toucans range in size. The smallest birds are 11.5 inches. The largest toucan grow up to 29 inches. So if you got a ruler out or a tape measure or a yardstick, you could figure out how big um, toucans get. Toucans' colorful bills are easy to spot. Their bills are larger than their heads. But looks can be tricky. Toucan bills are lightweight. That means that they don't weigh a lot. Finding food. With their long bills, toucans pick fruit from trees. Sometimes they toss fruit to each other. What? Isn't that funny? I didn't know that about a toucan, that they toss fruit to one another. That's interesting. Toucan's favorite food is fruit but they munch on lizards and insects too. They also rob small bird eggs from nest. Wow. Growing up, 
In spring, a female toucan lays up to four white eggs in a nest. Naked, pink-skinned nestlings hatch in about 16 days. So that means they have no feathers on them and it takes 16 days for their eggs to hatch. Both parents feed and take care of their nestlings. In about 50 days, the young fly from the nest. What? Can you imagine being 50 days old and leaving your family? Some toucans live up to 20 years in the wild. Staying safe. So what do you think that heading is going to tell us about? When we read a heading, it's going to, it's going to give us information about what we're about to read. So my mind is telling me, oh, it's going to tell me about the prey, the different animals that might prey on a toucan. Adult toucans fly away from eagles, hawks, and jaguars, but toucan eggs and nestlings are helpless. Adults guard their nests from monkeys and snakes. Oh boy. All right, so this is another text feature that a nonfiction book has. It has a glossary. So these are vocabulary words throughout the book that we might not know what they meant. For example, the very first word is bill. Do you remember hearing that? So this is a toucan's bill. A bill is also a beak, and this is what it says. Bill, the hard front part of the mouth of the of birds, also called a beak. So toucans and other kinds of birds um, have beaks, but they can also be called bills. And we learn that in the glossary. So now we can ask ourselves question number three. What did I learn? So this is what I want you to do. You might have to rewind so you can listen to the story again. I want you to get a piece of paper out and a pencil. And I want you to either draw or write three facts that you learned about a toucan that you didn't know before. So thanks for listening, guys. I hope you enjoyed our nonfiction book about toucans today. And I hope you learned a lot. Bye, guys. Thanks for listening. See you next time.